Hi, I'm Jim Proctor, Professor of Environmental Studies at Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon. I and one of our Environmental Studies students, Liv Ladere, would like to introduce you to ecotypes. Thanks, Jim. Tell me, do you think a lot or maybe worry a lot about environmental issues? Ecotypes will help you go deeper into your understanding of environmental problems and solutions, but not by focusing on the facts about these issues, which are important but readily available from a variety of sources. Instead, Ecotypes focuses on you, your environmental ideas and values. Learning more about the wide range of ideas that relate to how you approach environmental issues may open up all sorts of new possibilities in your understanding. We've seen this happen among college-level students across the United States, and it may happen to you. Would you like to learn more? Ecotypes gets at a wide range of fundamental ideas that relate to how we approach environmental issues. It includes a free online survey and a resource website and a forthcoming book to help you explore your own environmental ideas in greater depth. Ecotypes was launched in early 2017 and has been revised and improved since. As of summer 2021, the survey has been completed over 5,500 times, many by college-level students in environmental courses in the United States, representing over 80 institutions across the country. To better understand the Ecotypes survey and what you will learn from it, let's consider how Ecotypes involves three successive ingredients, axes, themes, and finally, ecotypes. There are 15 fundamental ideas included in ecotypes. We call them axes because each has two poles defining a range of positions you might take. Some axes may not be surprising, such as nature, for instance, but many others such as change, diversity, science, spirituality, and time are deeply relevant to, as you'll discover. There are no inherently right or wrong positions on Ecotypes axes. By completing the brief survey, you'll immediately receive a report on your positions with respect to each axis, and a link to a brief axis information on the website. Each of these 15 axes relate to one of three major Ecotypes themes, place, knowledge, and action. These three themes were determined by statistical analysis of the AXIS scores of over 2,500 college students. Like the AXIS, each theme has two poles defining a range of positions, non-human versus human place, old versus new knowledge, and small versus big action. Your survey report will tell you how you score on each of these three themes. Bear in mind that ecotypes themes go one step deeper than axes by identifying some fundamental tensions or contradictions at the heart of these axes. You'll learn that both poles of each theme have something valid to say, yet are hard to reconcile because they are so different. You'll thus learn the conceptual wisdom of paradox and the practical wisdom of engagement across difference in approaching these even more fundamental environmental ideas. Finally, ecotypes. The three major themes of place, knowledge, and action relate to each other in particular ways, yielding five predominant ecotypes, also determined by statistical analysis. These five common clusters of student responses are typified by names such as small as beautiful, eco-science, and indigenous justice, each like and unlike the others in important ways with respect to the three ecotypes themes. Your survey report will tell you which ecotype fits you best as well as how close you are to all five ecotypes. Each ecotype has important strengths and shadows, given that they represent a particular take on the contradiction and paradox defining place, knowledge, and action. Each of us can thus envision via our own ecotypes room for growth and by understanding the ecotypes of others, we can better engage across those differences. There you go, axes, themes, and finally ecotypes. Go to ecotypes.us for more information and to get your own survey-based report. You will also find information there on the forthcoming book. Have fun exploring your ecotypes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you gained something valuable from it. Producing this Ecotypes video series with my professor Jim Proctor, who created Ecotypes, has been such an honor and a wonderful learning experience for the both of us. We both have put 50 plus hours of loving work into these videos, so we would love to hear some feedback from you. 
This Equitize video series is all unfunded work. If you would like to support us and know of any further opportunities, please get in touch and engage with this video by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you so much.